Did you know that we can now edit our genome like doing web processing on the computer? Genome is a collection of genes encoded in our uh, sequence of DNA letters, ACGT, containing every cell of the body. Most of the known genes encode for proteins that carry out different biological functions. The genome is therefore a blueprint containing all the instructions required to build a body and also control how it works. Every individual has slightly different um, sequences, giving us different traits such as uh, eye color, height, and our risk of certain diseases. Decades of genetic research has led us to identifications of variation in genomic sequences and the correlation with um, many diseases. However, it has been traditionally difficult to modify one's uh, genomic sequence. This technology is termed genome editing. In recent years, uh, development of sequence-specific uh, nucleases such as zinc finger, uh, talons, or CRISPR-Cas9 has allowed us to um, realize many goals of genome editing. With these uh, nucleases that can cut genomic DNA at specific points, we can now modify genomic sequences, we can delete chunks of it, or even insert external sequences into specific points of the genome. With these, scientists can now model diseases by changing genomic sequences in cultured cells or in model organisms to observe how these changes the phenotype. We can also use this technology to engineer crops or animals to enhance food production. More excitingly, we can use this um, genome editing uh, strategy as an alternative uh, therapeutic strategy to drugs and may even provide complete solutions for some diseases. One example is the CCR5 gene, which is required for HIV infections. A naturally occurring uh, version of this gene is found in Europe and Western Asia. And people defective with this gene is resistant to HIV infection. After an understanding mechanism of CCR5 and HIV infection, uh, clinical trials are underway right now to delete these genes in eight patients to try to control the disease. On the other hand, disease-causing mutation can be corrected using sequences found in healthy individuals to completely cure some of the disease, hopefully. These are really powerful technology, however, they are not perfect. Intensive research is underway to improve um, specificity and the efficiency of these technologies. There are also social ethical concerns uh, associated with this technology, which has, have to be addressed before seeing wide adoption of this technology in industrial and clinical settings.